So let's begin with the basic definition what a design pattern is. So in the start of this lecture, I already asked you um, for, for the stairs pattern and I showed you some different stairs. So traditionally, when we think of design patterns, we think of these UML diagrams and we think of yeah these, these, these books <laughs> who define design patterns like the Design Patterns book by the Gang of Four. Um, but what are design patterns actually? So, for example, are knots a design pattern? Of course, uh, when you think of fishing or climbing, uh, there are different knots for different um, solving different problems and for different purposes and different contexts. And of course, these are all valid design patterns. So every knot has its purpose, and some knots are easier to, to unwrap, some, some knots need a, a loose end, some knots can be done without having a loose end, um, and so on. They have different st strength and, and so on. Is this a design pattern? So a house in the Alps? Yeah, of course, uh, because it works, first and foremost, and secondly, it has been proven to work over and over. So everyone in the Alps builds their houses, or most people in the Alps used to build their houses this way, and it worked out. So they had the, the, it used the needed materials, or the, the, the materials which they had up there. Uh, it was for the whole family, and so on. So it solved. In Greece, you will not find such houses. You will find a completely different architecture, which uses the materials which they have uh, there, and which is used to work in this region. And uh, this already gives away that the context where you apply a pattern is very important. And the context can change everything. It's not just knotting a knot, or, or creating a knot or building a house. It depends where you are living, what kind of house you want to have, what kind of knot you have, what are your requirements. Is this a pattern? But this is not something you construct, you draw or you, you build. This is some behavior we do. Since Corona, we don't do this behavior anymore, but we have some replacement patterns. For example, this, this elbow greeting or greeting with the feet. Um, so we have different patterns which replace this one because this one has a, a special uh, bad uh, drawback, which is, of course, the spreading of viruses and bacteria. And that's why we don't do it anymore. But this is also a pattern, a behavioral, a social pattern. And here we can see that patterns can be everywhere. So what is a pattern actually? And the, if you want the definition for a pattern is, a pattern is a proven solution for a recurring problem. But uh, you don't have to write it in the exam this way. This will be a question on every exam. What is a pattern? And what I would like to hear or read during the exam is your own definition for a pattern. For example, you could also call it a solution idea, a scheme, or a template. But the important part is that it's, it is proven over and over again. So it is already established as a best practice. And it is used for a problem which occurs over and over again. So a problem which only occurs once and is solved once uh, doesn't make a pattern. So a pattern has to be abstracted away from a specific problem to be applicable to more, to a bigger range of problems. That's the idea of a pattern. Otherwise, it's just a concrete, a specific solution. So as we've already established, patterns are universal. You can apply it to every uh, part of, of thinking, of living. You can apply it to social interaction, to architecture, software, and so on. So, um, yeah, that's the interesting part. But in this lecture, we actually only look at the software design patterns.